Hey friends, Peter here, and in this video I will teach you how to hand paint a sand texture. If you're struggling with sand or just need some basic tips to get started, then this video is for you. I'm aiming for a similar look to Grant Abbott's wonderful Blender tutorial, but we'll use Photoshop instead and show you how to make this a tiling texture for games. Let's get started. First, open Photoshop and create a new square document, 2048 by 2048, 300 pixels per inch. We are primarily going to be working on one layer here, so rasterize the background and fill it with a medium color, like I chose this orange yellow, and then choosing a darker version of that color, so in my case brown, create some wavy lines across your screen. Now this is your chance to really vary uh, these lines, uh, not all of the lines need to connect, and it's okay to have some that are, are just little dashes sort of in between, and that'll really add some visual interest to your sand. Next, we'll choose a lighter color, uh, I chose a light yellow here, to paint accents on the tops of the waves. And this should all be consistent, so notice how the light lines are on the right side of the shadow, because I've chosen my sun to be coming from the upper right hand corner. And we're still using a soft round brush here, and really just blending those lighter colors with the shadows that we already have. The one time you will use a harder brush is when we're painting the, the ridges a little bit more, we want to define those shapes but we don't want to have too many hard lines because otherwise it will come across like, uh, like we're painting rock, and sand is still a soft and shifting substance. While you are defining the ridges of your sand dunes and blending in the shadows, one thing that you can do is take the opportunity to break up some of the longer waves that you have. So if you notice that you have a lot of lines that just go continuously across the page, you might break those up into little segments because that way um, you can create the sense that your waves are a little bit more organic. They're flowing over and under each other. And this way, uh, they'll become and feel less like rock. Once you're satisfied with your sand texture, it's time to make it tileable. To do that, we will go to Filter, Other, Offset, and offset it by half the height and width of our image. So in this case, 1024 by 1024. And that will show you these hard edges where your seams don't match up. Now, all you have to do is, using the existing colors of your sand, paint over those lines. Try to blend the lines as best you can and make sure you keep the lighting consistent. If any areas aren't matching up or are coming across as too high contrast, you can increase the size of your brush and just paint over it with a, a darker or lighter color accordingly. It is a good idea to keep offsetting your image back and forth so you make sure you're not missing any seams. We want to make sure we get rid of all of those before we go to tile this, so make sure to spend some time doing so. In order to test out our texture, all we need to do is go to Edit, Define Pattern, and then Layer, New Fill Layer, Pattern, and change that scale to something less than 100%. And now you get to see how well your sand tiles. At this stage, you could call your sand finished, or you could add some additional details. So I chose to add a few little uh, spots throughout the image. Maybe these are clumps of sand, and this just gives it a little bit more of a hand-painted feeling, and a little bit more detail beyond the lines that we already have. Some people might want to add rocks to their image, or you could even add a, a noise filter on it to give it a grainy look. The last step here would be to add any image adjustments that you might need, so I actually knocked down the vibrance a smidge because I felt that it was a bit too yellow. Um, otherwise, there is your finished hand-painted tiling sand texture. 
As always, please let me know if you have any questions, recommendations, or requests in the comments below, and thank you so much for watching. Until next time!